Welcome to Same Spit, Different Face TV, where my opinions is facts, and if you don't like my opinions, you can start your own podcast, and it's free, so don't forget to spit on the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification. If you clicked on this video to hear about Top 5 and Kodak Beef, I need you to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Now, Spit Squad, Kodak Black and Top 5 has been into it. Now, if you don't know who Top 5 is... Top five is allegedly Drake's goon. He's also a rapper from Canada and he's been wilding since he got out of jail. So he beat a body and basically it appears like he beat a body on some type of technicality. Um, and it ended up in a mistrial because I believe that the state kept some type of evidence or whatever they, whatever evidence they had was something that should have been disclosed to the defense. And because it wasn't disclosed, he basically got out on a technicality or they withheld something. Either way, um, it ended up in a mistrial. So since he's been out, he's been wilding. Now, the th strange thing about him wilding is that his name is attached to Drake. So anything he do kind of puts Drake in a bad light. So in my personal opinion, either Drake can't handle the energy that Top 5 is creating or he refused to handle the energy that Top 5 is creating. And if t Top 5 crashes out or do anything, it can all fall back on Drake. And one of the other things was, and I can't 100% remember, so I'm going to say allegedly, allegedly Drake is the one who paid for Top 5 lawyer to fight that body. And if you go down that whole rabbit hole, the body of who the person is supposed to be is allegedly somebody that Drake has some issues with a long time ago. So it all just looks really uh, shaky under the light. Now, I'm not saying Drake told him to do anything, but let's fast forward. Top 5 hang with another Canadian rapper called Pressure. Pressure got into it with Kodak Black in L.A. that time that Kodak Black ended up getting shot. Um, and now Pressure is online basically saying, you know who shot you, you know I did it. So um, it's coming off as if they're alleging that Pressure is the one who shot him. But Pressure is the one who's online posting on videos and him and Top 5 saying they did this. So Kodak Black basically re replied and said, yo, it was for y'all. I swung on y'all. Y'all can't fight. I beat both all of y'all up. And then y'all tried to shoot me and all of this. Now, the one thing I will say is when academics um, speak on anybody else who's uh, doing stuff like this or got crime, anything going on, academics will basically say, oh, they clout chase. No, he'll say they snelt self snitching. Now, as of now, as of today, so look at the date on this video because it might change in the future. But as of today, he's not um really holding top five accountable for like self snitching or being online doing the same things that he'll critique many other artists for doing, especially when we look at the YSL case, he'll constantly say, well, they online self snitching and they talking about all this and all of that, but he haven't cr criticized top five for doing this. And obviously it's probably because top five is tied to Drake and he's biased when it comes to Drake a lot of the time, but I just had to point that out. But yeah, Kodak black basically, you know, he, he I think it's clout chasing to me because if you shoot somebody and you haven't went to jail for that being online and admitting to shooting them is kind of crazy. But also at the end of the day, you know, if Kodak Black wouldn't cooperate, like, yeah, that's who I think shot me, or yeah, that's who shot me, when they saying it, they could just say, yo, we was just doing it for entertainment to get our music, X, Y, Z, but I think it's just really weird, and they putting out energy, but now, um, and they've been like, they went to a Miami Heat game, you know that Kodak Black is from Miami. Check out my original Chicago hood movie in the end screen, No Time to Play Fair. 